Welcome to the Tour Review Channel. Today we are taking a look at the Mary 203-175 diagonal cutting pliers. Now these are a standard pair of diagonal cutting pliers or diagonal cutters from the Mary Tool brand. Uh, for those of you unfamiliar with the Mary Tool brand, they are a tool manufacturer that comes out of Japan or they're based out of Japan and they make some uh, some fairly high quality tools. Uh, now to start the video off here, we'll start, like we always do, we start taking a look at the handles. So these have the black and yellow style of handles. Uh, right here and the mary name is on the inside and japan and that's about it for all the information you get about um about that on the uh handles uh now you can see this tool is spring loaded uh which is nice uh, funny story when i bought these i didn't realize they were spring loaded i thought that they were um just a normal pair of diagonal cutters they decided to take the picture like that and you couldn't really the way they had it you couldn't really see the spring uh, so i thought i was getting a normal pair of diagonal cutters and it turns out it was a spring loaded pair of diagonal cutters now on the um front of the plier you can see you have the mary name right there you have the 203-175 and the 175 is for 175 um, millimeters which is the length which roughly translate to seven to seven and a half inches uh, depending on where you measure uh, the tool or where you do your measurement I mean, you have a little logo up there that they laser etch under the surface. And you can see you have this nice polished surface. Now, these aren't the newest pliers. I've had these for quite a few months uh, now, and I've been using them here and there for various things and decided to finally make a video on them. So now we'll come to the back side of the plier. and has this black coating on it. I'm not really sure what this black coating is, um, but it's pretty standard on most of the pliers coming out of Japan uh, where they have this black coating on them. Now, one thing I did forget to mention, it does have some holes on the end. So if you were working at a height with this tool and you wanted to tether it off to make sure it didn't fall down to the ground, uh, you could do so. Now, I don't think they offer a tether system, so I'm not quite sure what you're supposed to uh, use for that. Maybe I wasn't looking hard enough, but I couldn't find a system that they offer that you could clip into here uh, and uh, not have to worry about the tool uh, falling to the ground. Uh, but that's pretty much it for the detail on these. Now the rivet is, uh, it's a fairly large rivet, but it's not really close to the cutting edge. Um, so you're not going to have the ease um, and ability to cut through a larger material where it's, if it was closer to the cutting edge, you'd be able to cut through it a lot easier. I mean, and it, it's a seven inch pair, it's a seven inch, you know, seven and a half inch uh, length handle or length tool. So you're not gonna have that much leverage um, when you're cutting through that thicker material. But nonetheless, we are going to cut through some wire here. So we'll go ahead and zoom out here. And like always, we'll start off with our smallest gauge wire, which is our 18 gauge solid wire. And we are able to cut through that without any issue. We'll just go ahead and finish that guy off. Mine as well, right? Uh, so we're able to cut through that without any issue. Now we'll bring in our 18 gauge stranded wire and we'll couldn't get quite get through it all the way there. Um, we'll go ahead and try that again and we can get through it. Uh, it does seem that um, when you have it closer to that joint, uh, it can cut through it, but uh, depending on like right there, it can't quite cut through that all the way. So we'll set that guy to the side and bring in some 16 gauge stranded wire. And just like the 18 gauge wire, depending on where you have it, it does kind of struggle to break through all of those wires. And we'll put it back here. And again, kind of struggles to get through that wire. Uh, so we'll go ahead and set that off to the side and throw that wire back at the camera. And we'll bring in some 14 gauge solid wire right here. And we have no issue getting through that, which is nice. So we'll set that guy down and we'll bring in our 14 gauge stranded. Maybe it's just, you know, a stranded problem thing. Solid wire hopefully uh, doesn't have any issue. So we'll go ahead and cut through that 14 gauge stranded uh, and actually have no problems getting through that and we can place it in a bunch of different places on the cutting jaws now at the tip it's gonna be a little bit harder uh to do but uh you know in between uh you're able to cut through uh the stranded wire now we're gonna bring in our 12 gauge stranded wire right here uh, and you can hear that just got shot off into the distance uh, and you do have quite a bit of snapping sound cutting through uh, but the tool is able to cut through it without any issues so now we'll bring in our 12 stranded and see if we can cut through it just like the 14 and indeed we are doesn't really matter where we're cutting through um except when you have it real close to the top it's not going to quite cut through all the way so we are able to get through that 12 stranded 
So we'll bring in our 10 gauge solid wire. I'm sure this is gonna be a little bit more challenging to do, um, but I think we'll be able to get through it. Um, and you can hear how you get definitely get a little bit louder of a snapping sound, but the tool is able to cut through that 10 gauge without any issues. Let's see if we can go ahead and slice through this uh, 10 gauge stranded wire without any issues. And we indeed are able to get through that wire. So now we're gonna bring in some thermostat wire. Uh, we're going to see if we can cut through this piece of insulation. Uh, that's the main reason why I test thermostat wire is to see if we can cut through the insulation that is runs through this wire. Uh, I obviously know the tool should be able to cut through all five of those uh, 18 gauge wires uh, in here. It's mainly to see how well uh, if we can and or can't cut through that insulation. Um, and this pair of pliers uh, is able to cut through the insulation and also send the wire flying. Um, so it has no problem getting through that, which is pretty cool so now we'll bring in some eight gauge stranded wire now i'm, I'm almost positive i'm going to struggle with this uh to cut through it um but the tool is able to do it definitely not the you know most comfortable thing to do especially if you're working with a lot of this wire um and you were, had to cut a bunch of had to cut a bunch of it definitely not the pair of diagonal cutters to use to cut it um because over time your hand's definitely going to be feeling it uh so now we'll bring in some six gauge stranded wire and see how well we can cut through it definitely a little bit of a struggle to do um but we are able to do it and it's definitely not the easiest thing to cut through um but the, the pliers are sharp enough to slice through it so we'll set that off to the side and we're going to see if we can and or can't get through some romex wire so this is three wires 14 2 with ground and we'll go ahead and see if we can't cut through this uh definitely gonna be a little bit challenging here uh, but we can get through that uh, it's just definitely, definitely a little bit challenging to do. Uh, I can only imagine what this uh, this 12-2 with ground is going to do. So we'll go ahead and line that guy up and see if I can do this one-handed. Uh, it's definitely, definitely a little bit challenging to do. Um, that just got sent flying off uh, under my t under my desk. Definitely. It's going to be a challenge if you're trying to cut 12-2 Romex. Uh, as you saw right there, I kind of struggled there. And I definitely don't think I'm going to try that uh, again. Um, so if you're cutting, you know, some smaller gauge wires, these definitely are going to be, um, you know, a nice pair of diagonal cutters for that. Uh, if you're trying to cut some thick gauge wire, definitely don't recommend you use these uh, to get through that wire. Because as you just saw, it's, it's quite challenging to get through it, especially with one hand. Uh, and it does have a tendency to send whatever you're cutting off into the abyss uh, and hit everything in the, um, <laughs> have hit everything in its way. Uh, but these are definitely a nice pair of diagonal cutters to take a look at. Now, just like I, I had a problem with their side cutters, um, like I said earlier in the video, I bought these. I thought they had yellow handles and I didn't realize they were spring loaded. Um, the, the information on the Nile Mary website uh, I really is non-existent. It doesn't really tell you that much about the tool. It tells you the model number, and that's pretty much it. And they give you a couple pictures of the tool. Uh, so it would be nice if they would update the you know pictures and maybe some of the description on the tool uh, before you go ahead and you know pull the trigger on it, thinking you're getting one thing and then another thing shows up, or at least you know update update your pictures and show the different handles that come on the tool. Don't just show it with an all yellow handle. And then when you get the tool, it has a yellow black handle or it has a different colored handle than what you were expecting because uh, that could turn some people off and have them try to return the tool. Um, so that's one that's the one thing I have to say about that is, you know, you guys should just update your website uh, so people get a better understanding of what they're getting. But other than that, these are a fairly nice pair of diagonal cutters from Mary. Uh, like I said, made in Japan. So, you know, they're, they're always going to have a fairly nice finish to them. They're a high quality tool. Uh, I just don't recommend you try and use them for some thicker gauge stuff or cutting multiple conductors or multiple wires at once. Now these aren't, I, I don't know if they're induction hardened or not, so I can't recommend you try and cut, you know, screws and nails with them or some hardened wire because I'm not sure if the cutting edge is meant for that, if it'll hold up in the long run. Um, so I don't, I don't recommend that. I recommend you only use it with copper wire and, you know, maybe your aluminum wire and some other softer wires that are out there. Um, that's just my thoughts on that, but that's all I have for this video. Uh, so thank you for watching and I will leave a link to, uh, the Nile Mary website in the description below. Like I do with all my videos, I'll leave a link in the description below and it'll take you over to the website, uh, where you can buy them from the authorized retailer. That's it's what I like to do. Um, some people ask for Amazon links. Um, I, I, I generally don't recommend that. 
I just kind of like to share with you where I get the tool from rather than putting it out up on Amazon, but that's just me. So there will be a link to the, like I said, there'll be a link to the Nile Mary website in the description below if you would like to pick these up for yourself to add to your tool collection or your tool bag um, and use them as your daily diagonal cutters. Uh, but that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next video to be uploaded.